here are the top 12 most commonly asked question about the water for injection out of which question number 4 and question number 9 has the most interesting answers so watch this video completely question number 1 this is most frequently asked question what is water for injection answer of this question should be it is a sterile form of water which is free from pyrogens and can be used for intravenous administration wfi is considered to be purest and cleanest form of water which can be used to deliver medicaments or drugs to patient intravenously question number two this is about the toc that is total organic carbon the question might be like this what is toc what are the toc limits and how toc analyzer works answer of this question should be toc is total organic carbon measurement of water usp guidelines refers the toc limit as 500 ppb or microgram per liter and toc analyzer works by oxidizing organic carbon producing the carbon dioxide which can be then measured and value converted into the toc question number three what should be the sanitation frequency for wfi generation and distribution system answer of this question should be sanitation frequency shall be followed as 15 plus or minus 5 days or as required early if the microbial count increases above the prescribed limit most commonly three sanitation techniques are followed for wfi generation and distribution system these are hot water sanitation chemical sanitation and the other treatments like ozone treatment and ultraviolet light treatment in case of hot water sanitation WFI of 180 to 200 degree Fahrenheit that is 82.2 to 93.3 degree Celsius is circulated through the system and in case of chemical sanitation chemicals like formaldehyde or hydrogen peroxide is used to sanitize the water system. Question number 4 what is dead lake in WFI distribution system? Answer of this question should be it is unacceptable part of WFI distribution system or piping in which water is stagnant or non-moving. Dead lakes increases the risk of biofilm formation and creating the right conditions for pseudomonas and other waterborne pathogens to multiply or proliferate and increase the health risk. Question number 5 what is conductivity limit for WFI and why it is important? Answer of this question should be the USP guidelines requirement for conductivity of WFI is 0.6 to 4.7 microsiemens per centimeter and conductivity represents the amount of dissolved ions present in the water sample and hence it indirectly represents the water quality hence conductivity testing is important for WFI. Question number 6 why chlorine treatment is done during water purification process answer of this question should be chlorine is highly effective disinfectant and this is added into water to kill disease causing pathogens such as bacteria viruses and protozoans to prevent contamination with germs chlorine treatment is preferred for water during the purification process question number seven why sms dosing is done during purified water or wfi generation system answer of this question should be sm based dosing is done for dechlorination which removes the presence of chlorine in feed water this dosing helps to avoid or reduce oxidation of membranes the sm based solution should be freshly prepared while using for the dosing purpose as sodium metabisulfite is getting readily oxidized when it comes in the contact with air Sodium metabisulfite reduces the free chlorine by forming sodium bisulfate and hydrochloric acid. Next question, question number 8. What are the methods to remove endotoxins from water? Answer is distillation and reverse osmosis are the most effective methods to remove endotoxins from water. After treatment, the common way to detect the endotoxins in water is to perform limulus amoebocyte lysate test that is LAL test. An endotoxin limit of WFI as per USP is 0.25 endotoxin units per ml. Question number 9. Whether TOC of WFI increases on storage? Answer of this question is the TOC increases due to the microbial proliferation or the growth in the water. Hence, we are doing offline TOC 
which is to be done as early as possible after the sample withdrawal. Question number 10 what is pH range of WFI? The answer of this question is as per USP pH of WFI shall be within 5 to 7. The pH testing is important as the pH can control the availability of nutrients, biological functions, microbial activity and the behavior of chemicals inside the water. Next question, question number 11. What is difference between purified water and WFI storage condition? The main difference between purified water and a WFI loop is that the purified water is held at room temperature while the WFI is kept at 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. Question number 12. What is bacterial count limit for WFI? Answer is the bacteria count limit of WFI is 10 CFU that is colony forming units per 100 ml. Exceeding the bacterial count level of less than 10 CFU per 100 ml for WFI that is water fire injection will result in bacterial antitoxin contamination to the water. Visit channel for more useful content and subscribe for videos related to pharmaceutical industry.